this is Charlie from RunFL and today we're going to be checking out the avocados and their new growth and flowers here in March. We are currently in March 2021. I'm really excited because amongst all the fruit trees that are here growing at the farm, the avocados are growing and they're actually flowering, which is really good news, especially for being planted, you know, so recently. So we're gonna check out the different varieties of avocados that I have here planted and the ones that are flowering. So our first avocado that we're gonna be checking out is the Marcus pumpkin. Now, as you see, this avocado is a very young avocado. The graft is still very small. And right here, as you see, it says avocado Marcus pumpkin. And these avocados are really big. I actually found out about these avocados from John Painter. He was selling some and I actually bought some from him and they were delicious. They're huge, like a pumpkin, you know, round. So overall, I'm really excited to see that you know that my avocado trees are here growing in Punta Gorda. Now actually these avocados are all planted in the back of my farm. Now in the back of my farm, there is a huge mound of sand. Before I moved it, the prior owners, I guess was trying to do something here in the back of the farm and they actually dumped a bunch of sand. So it's very elevated. And if you guys don't know, avocados need to have sort of elevation they need to be planted on a mound because they're very susceptible to water rot they're on their roots and you know if they sit in water for too long they'll die very fast i believe it's like for more than two hours they'll die so as you see out in the front of my farm it just kind of gets more and more and more up you know very sloped so moving on i actually have an oro negro avocado now as you see this avocado looks very sad now it's mainly because this avocado needs more water and it's very difficult for me to keep all the plants water so i water it before i leave but believe it or not i already watered it once in when i got to the farm about a few hours ago and as you see nonetheless it's pushing on new growth i'm gonna get mulch here very soon but also once the springtime rains come that will also help me a lot you know keeping these avocados hydrated you know but i planted these about three months ago and overall as i get older the roots are going to reach the water system the water table down below so you know i just have to keep them for the most part pretty healthy but as the years go on they'll just get much more easier to manage i actually planted a seedling avocado back here and this i'll just use as root stock and as you see the seedling avocado is actually pushing out new growth and and like i said i'll just use it as root stock but we're going to move on because i actually have more varieties that are flowering back here so we're actually going to be entering a part of the farm where it's actually very shaded for now and there's a lot of avocado varieties planted back here but as the time goes on i believe within a year i'm actually going to be clearing a bunch of space back here so there's going to be much more sunlight hitting these avocados but this avocado right here is actually choquette now choquette is actually a very good avocado variety now the leaves kind of look brown like this due to the cold damage that we recently just got through. But as you see, the Joquette avocado is pushing out new growth buds and I believe those are flower buds. Yeah, I believe those are flower buds as well. But as you see, just going all the way down, the Joquette is just a really good variety. But honestly, I don't expect these avocado trees to fruit for me for the next like five to six years. So I'm really gonna let them grow very big and you know, even maybe longer than that, I really want these avocado trees to be very big in the back. You know, they're eventually gonna replace a lot of these bigger trees just because I really love to have avocados and I'm really in love with just all the different varieties of avocados that, you know, Florida has to offer. Now, this is actually a big avocado tree, maybe one of the biggest ones that I have here at the farm and it's actually grafted. I actually got it from Leaf in West Palm Beach, but this one, Leaf actually forgot the variety, so I actually got it for a good deal, but it's grafted nonetheless of a good variety. So we're just gonna see in the future how it, how it fruits for us overall. But as you see, the leaf is pretty big. So what I've noticed is a lot of the avocados kind of look a little bit like the leaf. So this kind of looks maybe like a round avocado, big one. So we're gonna see in the future. As you see, the base of this avocado is very thick. Like I said, it's probably the biggest one that I have. I got this for a really good deal. Like I think I got it for $45 just because it was in a really big pot and just, you know, just really needed to be planted. As you see, this avocado as well is just bursting out in buds and it's just gonna want to, you know, they just wanna burst out in buds. Now it needs more sun. Now the reason why they haven't it's just because, like I said, they could use more sun. But overall, they really need more water too. Avocados love water. But you know, the number one thing is avocados need really good drainage. Which, like I said, right here, they have really good drainage. As you see right back there, it's a really big ditch. And just right down here, as you see, it's just like another ditch. And it just goes all the way down there. So the avocados here are really good. I actually planted a bunch of pond apples back here in this little ditch and pond that I have back there that fills up during the rainy season. So moving on, I have more avocado varieties back here. This is actually hall avocado. And like I said, this hall avocado is just trying to push out new growth buds as well. I believe during this rainy season, 
it'll definitely all push out new growth. And I'm gonna let these grow as big as they can. You know, obviously I'll stay on top of them, somewhat pruning them, but overall, I'm just gonna let these grow and really, you know, take up the space. And this whole avocado is just really kind of lanky too. But overall, nonetheless, it's just a grafted variety. And avocados, if you didn't know, and able to produce a fruit, they need like a different variety around. So in able to get the avocado fruit, you actually need like an A and B type, and each variety corresponds to a different A or B. So all these varieties I have are a mixture of A and B. So overall, they're just gonna be really good for pollination in the future. So moving on over here, I have a few avocado varieties that are actually trying to burst out in the beans as well. So this one is the Russell avocado. Now, Russell avocado is the one that looks like a really long avocado. It looks really cool when it hangs and overall just looks like a really attractive avocado. As you see, the Russell as well is bursting out in new buds. Now, I believe it would already be flowering if it got more sun, but nonetheless, I'm really just happy that they're growing and flowering here, meaning that they're connecting to the soil. And overall, like I said, I'm just gonna let these grow out to be really big and Russell is one that I'm really looking forward to. Now I have another long variety over there, which is actually Simmons, but actually right behind here before we pass it, I have another variety right here. Now this variety of avocado is actually the Thompson Red Avocado. As you see, the Thompson Red. And this avocado, like the name suggests, is actually avocado that's all red on the outside. So it looks really cool and attractive. As you see, the Thompson Red as well is pushing out in new growth buds. So overall, I'm just really excited to have this avocado be growing here as well. And as well, this one is very short, but as you see, nonetheless, it's growing really good here at the farm. So moving on, we have Simmons. And Simmons avocado is actually known for being another long variety, just like the Russell avocado. But this avocado actually suffered pretty bad from cold damage. Now, some of these avocados are actually not so cold hardy as some of the other varieties. So that's why some of them got damaged. Like I said, in Punta Gorda, we actually faced some pretty cold weather. So this one, nonetheless, it kind of looks a little more beat up, but I'm going to take better care of it because, you know, it kind of looks like I could take care of it more. But also this one is probably one of the most shaded avocados that I have, as you see, it's just there's a big oak right here. So I really have to see what I'm going to do in this next year because I really, you know, want to get it some or at least, you know, better sun. You know, maybe I can clear a bunch of this stuff right here because you see the sun's right there and uh you know the sun's trying to come through here so we're going to move on to the next avocado that we have over here and this avocado is monroe now i've heard great things about monroe i'm not sure if i had monroe before i get a lot of my avocados from pine island from either fruitscapes or john painter and they usually have a mix match of a lot of different you know name variety avocados as you see this monroe avocado is actually about to push out a new growth bud or it's flowers or leaves, but I'm really excited, you know, like I said, that it's responding very well. As you see all around this avocado, it's just trying to burst out, you know, it's really trying to grow. And I actually watered these avocados today, but these avocados are just love to have water, especially at this stage of growing. So like I said, I'm excited for the rains to come here in springtime. So moving on more back here, I have another avocado. Now this is actually Catalina. Now Catalina is a is an avocado I believe I tried at Fruitscapes before, but as you see, it has a little damage from the cold, you know. But nonetheless, it's gonna be growing really good. This is another one too that's actually pretty shaded, just because I really don't notice much budding activity. There is some bud activity, but it's just very little, and that's just due to because it doesn't get a lot of sunlight, and. You know, like I said, we're gonna fix that in the here in the near future. So as long as it grows, you know, I'm just I'm just happy that it's gonna be growing somewhat. So moving on is actually an avocado that's actually the more advanced one and actually has a really good spot right here, right here in the back of my property. So this is actually the Ulala avocado. Now this avocado is also known as Super Has. Now this avocado I'm really happy for just because number one, it pushed out this new beautiful new growth. As you can see, you can tell it's new just because it's still very shiny. And not only that, but it actually has its own flowers right here and it's all and it's actually budding out really nicely so right here at the base you see it's ulala avocado now these avocados i all got from my friend leaf in west palm beach but as you see the avocado is just pushing out these new beautiful flowers you know and it's just really good to see that the avocados are actually already flowering and you know pushing out new growth as well as flowers here at my farm now like i said avocados grow really good here in florida so that's why I'm just super excited to have a section just purely for avocados, just because, you know, like avocados is one of Florida's main kind of staple crops. 
or you know if you have a food forest growing avocados is just really good and you know also for your health as well i just really love how this ulala avocado looks as you see it's just really beautiful and just planted in these soils here in the back of my farm and already flowering just makes me so happy now also this one gets really good sun so that's why i'm like okay i really need to trim the other trees really soon because i know once i trim them and they get really good sun like this one as you see it still has some shade you know by these bigger oaks that i have right here in the back but overall you know it's just pretty open you know it gets pretty good sun in the morning and uh you know that's what i kind of need the avocado just need a little more sun right there in the middle but this is an example of what it could be you know and like i said i barely water these avocados i watered them today but these avocados probably get water like once a week and the fact that they're already flowering like this just makes me so happy like i said but we actually have one more variety of avocado right back here and this one's a little more shaded but it actually is pushing out new flower buds so we're gonna see actually what it comes out to be and I actually forgot the variety so this is actually lula avocado now i heard really good things about the lula avocado and as you see right there in the center it's just pushing out these new uh, leaf buds and right here from the top you see that it's pushing out new leaves as well as you see it's just budding out so you know in a few weeks time we're going to see new leaves and it's just going to look really good you know on this lula avocado now lula avocado like i said is known for being really good so overall i'm just really excited to be having you know all these avocado varieties here at the farm and that is just a beautiful new brand that they're pushing out of the lula avocado as well so thank you guys so much for watching this update video on the avocado flowers. You know, as the time goes on, I'm definitely going to update everyone on how the avocados grow. And definitely, you know, they're going to get to a point where they're going to really take off in growth once I get them all sufficient sunlight and a good water source. So overall, I'm just really excited to be harvesting avocados in the future and just a bunch of different varieties too. So thank you guys so much for watching this avocado video. If you guys haven't yet, go plant an avocado in your yard and make sure to get two different varieties an a and b variety now i actually post a little information card of different varieties and which type they are a or b and i hope it benefits you in selecting a lot of varieties to pick so thank you guys for watching this video once again i hope you have a great day and bye bye now